All right, guys, welcome back to some StarCraft 2. Uh, as I said before every mission, I'm just going to go briefly over what upgrades I have, just so you know. Um, I mean, all of them are pretty good, to be honest, um, but I'd be pretty sad if you actually went for Dragoons here. I really like the shield uh, regenerating. Both of these are pretty good. We're, we use Whirlwind just because we have no other means of splash, uh, but if you use... Uh, if you use it for um, studying shit, that's actually pretty good too. So, but we use the uh, uh, we use the spin to win. So, let's get going. Sky Shield's in serious trouble, old buddy. If we can't bring it back online, August Grad's going to take a nuclear-sized impact. Mobius Corps soldiers are on the platform now, and those guys are suicidal. Rather die than let us stop them. You know, just before we begin, uh, take note of the tip. Uh, if you do bonus objectives, you get more solar right, which use, is used to power the solar or spare of a dune, which means get all the bonus objectives all the time. This ain't good. Sky Shield's not going to last much longer. At this rate, we've got maybe ten minutes left till it lands smack dab on our capital. Your suspicions were correct, Commander. Mobius Corps is disabling the platform's atmospheric stabilizers as we speak. The damage appears repairable, Hierarch. Yeah, assuming Mobius Corps leaves anything left to repair. Artanis, if you can clear out those troops, my boys can patch up those stabilizers. That should buy us some extra time. We must move quickly. It will take the combined power of all five stabilizers to halt the platform's descent. All right, let's uh, get going. We're gonna just uh, make uh, some probes, and we're gonna make a start with a pylon here. The central stabilizer is nearby. Securing it first will deliver us a staging ground to assault the other four. So we're making nothing but uh, probes at the moment. We're gonna head out pretty soon. I just want to get the gas there because we need about a. Uh, Two stalkers. Now we're actually making a pretty balanced uh, group of uh, both stalkers and uh, zealots for for us to take these platforms. This is actually probably enough now. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're kind of, we're gonna try and group them up. All right, they're grouped. And spin to win. Now. Take note of these specters, they do extra damage against armor, which means you're stalkers. Durability calculations updated. Commander, your construction vehicles can begin the repairs. Thanks, Artanis. My boys are putting a sensor tower here. Should alert you if Mobius Corps swings through this area. By blood and fire, we shall be reborn. Mobius Corps is moving against us. Carax, activate the Spear of Adun's weapons cluster. Bombardment systems online. Prepare for orbital strike. I gotta say that was actually one of the cooler things that they did put in. strikes can now be fired from the Spear of Adun's command panel, Hierarch. You have not enough I, I like the transition to the cutscene kind of a thing that they had in the middle of the game. As I said, like, you know what? It, it this game actually has higher production quality than I originally thought it would. You know, it was actually quite nice. All right, we're gonna move over to the left first uh, because there's only one that we can get here, and it's also the one without a siege tanks. Which is a nice one to start us off with. Alright, let me just uh, you have not enough check how we're doing here. I am here in the shadows. I am detecting an electromagnetic weapon ahead. Its pulse will slowly damage our shields. We should destroy it if possible. 
Completing bonus objectives will allow me to improve the Spear of the Doom's power level in the future. Oh, I should mention that, um, that, uh, the orbital strike here you see, it's our, uh, siege tank killer. That's, that's all it's for. It's a quite a nice option. Well, you can use it however you want. By the way, an argument could be possibly made for the fact that maybe Dragoons are better for this mission just because um, of the shields draining all the time, but to be honest, I I don't feel very much like... Uh, I don't know, I still like them. You'll see how, how not important they are, right? Really. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to actually use the uh, charges, so you notice how it pauses the game when we do this. And we're going to put like two here and then all three here. Kill that guy. All right, we're gonna just keep going with that. Get more zealots in. Uh, we'll get this guy going. We can use two more gateways, and then we can make some cannon lines up here, I guess. Now we can use the deployed pylon here, but you know. To be honest, I'd prefer if you don't get used to not using it, just because we the orbital strikes are much better. Mobius core is deeply entrenched in that location. An orbital strike would help weaken their defenses. He's kind of right about that. Uh, we need to be slightly closer. Now let's do three here and two right there. Now, unfortunately, we completely ran out of uh, our proper units. Mobius Corps is mobilizing an attack against our nexus point. Rally our defenses. Yeah, we're gonna have to head back, unfortunately. We are gonna eventually make uh, some cannons up here, but that's gonna be in the next. Uh... I'm trying to get up here as fast as I can. Now, unfortunately, you saw the little achievement for uh, getting it under, like, uh, what was it? I think it was like four minutes. Yeah, we're not doing that. Not in this one. Just, just, it's not really feasible for us to do. And now we need to make more pylons, so we're going to get a guy out here. Our force is fine, so we're not, like, we're not suffering. Sky Shield's descent is rapidly approaching critical. We must repair a stabilizer quickly. We just get another one over here. And we'll just uh, make a couple cannons. Okay. Oops, I was not paying attention. But we kind of need the zealots just because both tanks and specters kind of fuck up dragons. So. Or sorry, not stalkers, not dragons. It's, I really want dragons. What can I say? <laughs> Revising durability estimates. Nice work. Got a repair crew inbound. Heads up. Looks like Mobius Core is starting to reinforce the stabilizers. Expect some heavier resistance. Let's just kill all these things. Alright. And let's go get some more stalkers over here. So we're just gonna kill this thing on its own. We don't have to even look at it. I wonder if there's uh Yeah, there's some minerals up here. My conjecture was correct. These solarite reactors can be used to improve the solar core's energy output. I detect two more of these devices on the platform. If possible, you should seek them out. We're just gonna take that resource that I see around here. And let's get some more zealots coming. Oh. I, I don't want to deal with these guys. I'm running away. We have We have no quarrel with them. Uh, let's see, we got two more that we can make, and we can actually start going into the upgrades now. I need a better staging area for this stuff. But we're gonna actually make uh, some pylons up here. They don't ever come up here, it, it would appear, so you, got, you don't have to worry too much about this kind of shit. And then we're gonna head back down here. Alright, well now we gotta start heading out for the next one. Uh, 
I kind of offensively blinked into them just because the shield thing is here. I figure we should kind of just fucking kill them. A fucking asshole. We need our, uh, where'd my probe go? Warping aboard the Solarite reactor now. Can you get past us? A warning, Hierarch. If we do not repair Sky Shield soon, we will be unable to stop its descent. Yeah, we know. Wonder why my keys are not letting me blink right now. Whatever. All right, we could nuke this, but I don't really care. I honestly think that these guys will be fine. There's a tank over here. So we can use this now to... Actually, we don't need to use it now. Because this guy's pretty dead. The tanks are, as I said, the worst thing in this game right now for us. Alright, let's just kind of check out what's up here. Yeah, so we're just going to kind of kite them out. We have about two minutes. Alright, there's our tank. So we go... We need two of these uh, little shots to, to kill it, and then you can kind of just spend the rest on whatever you want. Kind of spread it out. Our time is nearly gone. We must secure a stabilizer quickly. A third stabilizer has been cleared of enemy forces. Gotcha. Repairs underway. Man, you're sure pissing Mobius Corps off. A lot of troops guarding the stabilizers. Make sure you got enough forces to engage. Lost a couple of guys here. Ah, uh, but we can just remake them. It's fine. No biggie. Now, if you really want to make forward pylons, you can. Uh, and you just kind of do them by sending like a probe like this one. And you just go like, hey, make a pylon over there. Instead of using your pack, because like, I mean, at this point we do have a lot of energy, so it's not a huge deal. But sooner or later we're not going to use that, so I'd rather you learn not to depend upon it, as I said. But use it if you really want to. Alright, let's uh, make some more bellots. Alright, this one's going to be a bit of a doozy. Uh, basically we have a tank over here, and we have a tank over here. So, we're actually going to send sacrificial... Uh, Stalker's in. So there's one right here, one, two, and some over here, and then you can kill that guy. And there you go. Tank's gone at the cost of two Stalkers. I'll take that any day. That's a good deal. And then we can now just kind of remake some more Stalkers. Because honestly, the tanks have splash damage, and they're just, they're just unpleasant overall. So we're just going to go to one side here, and we're just going to kind of deal with this one. We can kind of kite this guy back. Imminent. I recommend repairing a stabilizer as soon as possible. Durability calculations updated. Only one stabilizer still remains in enemy hands. We must make haste. We're gonna use our, uh, we're gonna use our little upgrade here. Alright, so what we do is try and get, we definitely need two on this guy. Two on this guy, and I guess just like whatever else. Okay, I, I may have missed that one. But don't worry, everything's coming over. I, I'm a filthy Terran player. I love playing Terran, so I know exactly what to shoot first, and that would be the tanks. All right, we only have one stabilizer left, and we can do a nice little route that takes us right past here. The last one's actually super easy. You're not going to believe how easy it is, to be perfectly honest. You, you, you always think that it's always worse than it actually is, but it really is just fine. We're gonna, by the, in the meantime, we're just going to make some more zealots. 
Actually, I don't even think... Did I even get all the upgrades? No, I didn't even get shields. You know what the really nice thing about these stalker blink thing is? Every five seconds I can like regenerate most of their shield back even though we lost most of it. It's just fucking insane. Yeah, we're just gonna blink up here offensively. Just kind of like wipe them out. There's a tank below us, by the way, but at this point we're so we win so badly that it doesn't matter. Welcome to the end. Friend Raynor. Sky Shield has been stabilized, and Mobius Corps is retreating. Admiral Horner will take control of the station from here. Gotta say, I owe you big time for this one, partner. And that one's done. As so this one's a bit difficult to do. Um, you get more time, I think, when you're playing on uh, the lower difficulties. Actually, I can guarantee you that. So, this is why, this is not doable, really, unless you're playing on an easier difficulty. That's a hell of a thing your boys did, Artanis. Sky Shield is back online. We're about to call down the cavalry. We will join you on the surface and extract the Keystone. I got some bad news for you. Seems our friends below had the same idea. While we were fighting to get planet side, the Imperial Palace was raided. Security data indicates the Keystone was taken. My mama used to have a saying, when it rains, it floods. I am uncertain as to how this saying is helpful, friend Raynor. <laughs> Me either. Wait a minute. I'm getting intel. A Mobius Corps evac team is headed toward Bennett Port. They got the Keystone. We shall not let them escape. The Solar Core requires your attention, Hierarch. Please visit it at your earliest convenience. It's looking bad, Artanis. A lot of dead people down there. We gotta take these bastards out. What could have led these Terrans to come under Amon's thrall? They were assigned to some top secret details, running security at Dr. Narud's hybrid research labs. After Valerian re-established the government, the Mobius Foundation went dark. Last transmissions were chaotic. Crazed. Next thing we know, the attack started. The Naaman has turned them into his slaves. An army. They are dangerous, but they are only the start of the war to come. You always were the optimistic sort. Right. A uh, new conversation is available. I must remind you, our sacred law, the Deul clearly forbids us to interfere with lesser beings unless there is a direct threat to the empire your choice to aid these terrans is perplexing why do you assume that they are lesser beings rohana i do not make an assumption gaze upon them unsophisticated primitive they communicate through orifices mouths Many, including myself, once thought as you do. But I have seen their nobility. In time, you will also. The Solar Matrix Core. Truly an impressive sight. A synthetic star. I imagine what went into its creation. This chamber provides power to the spear of Adun and all its systems. Its radiance even contributes nourishment for our warriors. How long until you can bring its tactical systems online? System analysis has begun, but the star is laying dormant for an eon. It will take time and a powerful ignition catalyst like Solarite to restore it to full capacity. Solarite? The Firstborn haven't utilized Solarite in millennia. This vessel is ancient, Hierarch. We will need to exhaust even unconventional resources if we are to bring it to bear. Do what you can, Faith Smith. We will acquire what you need. Very well. 
You may begin augmenting the solar core whenever you are ready. Select the core to start reviewing your options, Hierarch. No, I want to talk to you. You look different, Faye Smith. Ah, you must be referring to these mechanical arms. I constructed them to improve my efficiency while running the solar core. So far, they have been quite helpful. <laughs> like how we just like, oh, you look, you're looking fucking different. Like, because we, we're the fucking barber fucking Protoss now. We cut off each other's hair. Oh, you look pretty now. Oh, why, thank you. This array displays an overview of the Spear of Adun's weapon and support systems. Each system can only be configured to have one active ability at a time. You may select different abilities to complement your tactical decisions in different battles, Hierarch. Our current available Solarite is displayed here. Any leftover Solarite can be routed to our auxiliary systems. You may begin diverting Solarite now. All right, well, I'll give you a basics of how this kind of works. So we have 40 in total, and this is kind of the system they have. So, uh, I mean, judging by based upon... So in Wings of Liberty, when you did upgrades, they were permanent. And I guess Blizzard didn't really like that. And it was also confusing, I guess, because I, I noticed a lot of people looked at my brutal run of uh, of uh, Li Wings of Liberty, and I constantly was getting comments of like, oh, shit, you know, I didn't get the planetary, so, like, the planetary fortresses, so I'm fucked in the last mission. I have to redo all of it. So, what they did, they did this in Heartless Form, and they're now doing this here as well, which is that just because you put points into something doesn't mean that you don't get to, like, you can kind of put it right back into something else sort of a thing. Now, it's unfortunate that it doesn't actually show you a preview of what exactly these things do, though. Uh, but you get, a, you get a basic idea. So, the Orbital Strike, you've already seen. And then we have Temporal Field, where you can create three Temporal Fields that freeze enemies and structures for 20 seconds. It costs 50. I'm oh, sorry, it costs 25. My, my, well, actually, it says, it says 50 here. Oh, no, no, okay. The energy cost is 50, I should say. Um, so that's kind of interesting uh, that it does that. And, okay, so yeah. So it costs 25 uh, solar to activate, but 50 energy cost actually on the field. Um, so that's kind of neat. So we have deploy pylon here, which is like just warps in a pylon to any visible location. And we can go to chronosurge, which uh, increases structures warp in and research speeds by a thousand percent for 20 seconds. That is also warp and reinforcements, uh, which quickly warps in a pylon with two melee world, uh, warriors and two range warriors. It's basically a variation based upon the, um, the deploy pylon one. I don't think this one's that great because just warp them in yourself. Like don't waste the soul right on this shit. Um... I mean, we can't even get it anyways, because we need 50. And Solar Lance is also here. Solar Lance isn't bad, but you are spending 50, um, 50 Solarite for that privilege of having uh, Solar Lance. I mean, it's it can destroy armies really, really easily, though. Um, and the cooldown is similar to Orbital Strike. Orbital Strike, though, does a very similar thing, though. I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm a fan of Solar Lance, don't get me wrong, but we're going to be probably rotating this a lot at the beginning of every mission. And... And then we have Temporal Field here, and then, yeah, obviously. Orbital Strike is really good, though, for, as I said, just destroying tanks and stuff, which are, right now, the biggest issue is just taking out these core, like, problematic targets, and then we just kind of have fun with that. So, uh, with that being said, you notice how we have 40, and then, like, okay, uh, we, by the way, we're going for Chrono Surge, and I think we're going to keep that the entire time, because this is such a good thing for speeding up research, and also... I think we can use it for economy, but I'm not sure. It says 75 here, so... I mean, it would have been nice to have, like, an initial starting cost of, uh... Uh, for, for, like, initial energy, but I think we get that later. I think I don't think we get that now. Um, and as you can see, everything else is just locked here. Uh, so... Once you get that, you just... Your intent is just spend the rest of the solar right into, like, these auxiliary systems. So what do you prefer? Do you prefer... Uh, warping structures faster or less pylons kind of thing and each each level gives me what like uh, I, I actually I actually yeah, it gives me five per level or we can warp it in 15% faster I mean honestly there's no wrong answer here there's really no wrong answer here at all um, I mean it's just I it's whatever you want 
Uh, to be honest, most of this is no wrong answer. I just, I'm really against the warp and reinforcements. I'll just tell you what's bad. I don't think warp and reinforcements is very good, and I don't think temporal field is very good. I'm not sure about Corona Surge, but we're going to give that a try. Um, to be honest, I know this is a brutal walkthrough, but I'm kind of just playing through it right now. Like, I play through it first, and then I, I may change my mind at some point with some of this stuff. Uh, but I just remember, yeah, Solar Rance is pretty good. Orbital Strike is pretty good. Temporal Field, eh. I mean, anything is better than Deploy Pylon at this point. I mean, okay, you can you can make an argument for, oh, you know, I want to warp in things right beside my units. Fine. I mean, it's probably not that bad, but it does cost 75 energy to do it. Um, it's a, that's a pretty, pretty steep uh, price for, for what you're getting, so. But... Overall, I think that you can do well with no matter what you choose here. Um, overall, I don't think there's any right or wrong choice. And I think also it kind of depends upon the mission you're doing. Some, some particular upgrades may be better for uh, certain uh, uh, certain missions. So, yeah, I, I don't really know what I want to do with these, as I said. But this is how I'm going to start it is Chrono Surge, Orbital Strike, and Starting Supply. So, just letting you know how that's working. Anyways, yeah. So. Uh, I think that's all the time I have for today, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.